The Ministry of Health is tonight raising concern over the spike of infections in the country, terming the last one week as the worst since COVID-19 was reported in the country. Health CS Mutai Kagu is putting the number of deaths at 100 in a span of seven days. However, he warns that this will continue being the case if Kenyans do not adhere to the COVID-19 regulations. Raquel Mugai with the latest report on the worrying trend. The cat and mouse game between COVID-19 and Kenyans has seen the virus flex its muscles as more Kenyans continue to get infected over what the Ministry of Health refers to non-conformity of the measures put in place to contain the spread of the virus. I advised last week that there's a sharp increase in, posit on, in positivity rate lately with a high of 18% this last Saturday. Yesterday, our positivity rate was 15%. And today, we are heading not far from that direction. Mutai Kagwe terming the last one week as the worst in the history of COVID-19 in the country, owing to the deaths of at least 100 patients in a span of seven days, with each day recording double digits. We need to rethink some of the measures that we have taken. We need to think about what to escalate and what to de-escalate. 724 new infections have been reported in the last 24 hours, increasing the number of those infected to 56,601. 14 people were registered to have died, while 248 others were recorded to have recovered from the disease. The spike in the number of infections creating an impression among the public that hospitals are becoming overwhelmed by the patients seeking COVID-19 management, an issue that the ministry denies. The measure that people are talking about is because they have overwhelmed the three hospitals, Nairobi Hospital, Aga Khan Hospital, perhaps MP Shah as well. Those hospitals usually have very little capacity in terms of uh, the bed capacity for infectious disease cases such as the ones that we have. Only 1,297 people have been admitted across various hospitals in the country as of today, 54 among them being in the intensive care unit, while 10 others being admitted at the high dependency unit. There will be no movement of patients from one county to another on grounds that if it escalates, if the virus continues to hit us in the manner that, that it is, it means that each county will have to take care of its own patients. But the public service seems to be largely hit owing to a number of closures and suspension of duties among various public offices in the country. The Kajado High Court suspended all court proceedings until Wednesday after two people tested positive for COVID-19. In Nakuru, the county assembly having to suspend its usual sittings after some staff members tested positive for the virus. According to a letter issued by the speaker, the county assembly will resume its sittings in the next 14 days. Rakamwigai, Citizen TV.